you need to meet people where they would like you to meet them. That is one important lesson in leadership that I learned from my mentor. Thank you for your interest in this topic of leadership, my fellow Toastmasters. I share, as I share my key learning on this topic of leadership and what my leadership style is, as I understand it. According to Harvard Business Review, an effective leader should have confidence, strong communication and management skills, creative and innovative thinking, perseverance, willingness to take risks, open to challenge, level-headed, and reactiveness in time of crises. How do these characteristics flow into various styles of leadership? In general, there are seven types of leadership. Democratic, autocratic, laissez fair, transformational, transactional, bureaucratic, and servant leadership. I will share some key characteristics of these styles and give you an example of a famous leader who portrays this character. Democratic leaders believe in team culture and poses the question, what do you think? And encourages participation and collaboration from everyone in decision-making. Former PepsiCo CEO Indra Nooyi is a democratic leader. She possesses open communication. This style of leadership is good for making lasting decisions, but not efficient for sensitive decisions. Autocratic style. This is authoritarian style of leadership. As the name indicates, the leader makes the decision without involving others and is controlling. Typically, the communication style is, I want you to do this. An example of this style of leadership is Elon Musk. Now, moving on to the laissez fair model of leaderships. Those leaders are hands-off leaders. No rigidity or formality, as long as the work is completed on time and accurately. They do not interfere in how things got done. An example of a leader having this style is Warren Buffet. Now, moving on to transformational leaders, they inspire people for a vision through conviction and charisma. Malala Yousafzai, the young Nobel Peace Prize winner, who's leading the efforts of the educational movement for girls in Afghanistan, is an example of this style of leadership. Now, transactional leaders are result-oriented leaders. They send clear measure of success and accountability. An example for this type of leadership will be Microsoft founder and former CEO, Bill Gates. Moving on to the fifth type of leadership, the bureaucratic leaders. They run their business based on rules and procedures. Toyota founder, Kijido Toyoda, has this style of leadership. Think about the quality element of Toyota cars and Lean Six Sigma uh, defect uh, method for making the cars and inspecting the cars. That is that type of leadership based on rules and procedures. Now, servant leaders lead from their heart, focusing on the needs of others, emphasis on learning and growth and coaching. An example of this leader is John Maxwell, who leads by positive influence and trust. Most of us have read and followed John Maxwell books and types of leadership for many years. This style of leader takes times to establish and could be perceived as slow by others. Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, I wear many leadership hats mother for my kids, manager or leader for my staff, product manager for my customers, 
teacher for my dance students, mentor for my technovation students, area director and club officer for Toastmasters, cheerleader for my workout class. <laughs> Ultimately, I find myself leading from a position of authenticity, leading by example, and leading in a democratic way. Based on the situation, one style of leadership dominates over the other. If there is a system failure at work, the bureaucratic side of me takes dominance. If I am facilitating a change, a new tool, a new system, my servant leadership takes dominance. Thus, I'm putting the learning from my mentor into practice. You need to meet people where they would like you to meet them with the combination of various leadership styles. Thank you very much for listening to me. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.